good evening now we are looking at various formats that you need to prepare and its applicability now once when a patient comes to you and you are sure that this patient can be treated at your hospital you can get this form filled in make sure that even the consent which is associated is also a part of it initial medical assessment needs to be done preferably by a treating doctor in case if the treating doctor is busy or not in the hospital the rmo or any other medical practitioner can do this however needs to be signed by treating doctor and a plan of care and the estimate has to be prepared and to be handed over or to be discussed with the patient or their relatives initial nursing assessment in case if you are not sure about the competency of your nursing staff you can eliminate this form however it's good to do this initial nursing assessment so that nurses also feel included in the part of treatment uh, you can teach your staff about uh, how to fill this form it's not very difficult my sincere advice is that you should uh, get this done treatment sheet i'm sure you will have treatment sheet ppr chart both of it which you will have in case if there are no columns for date and time and the other parameters as in our format you can use the your your existing format without changing it nursing over nursing notes again same depending on the competency of the nursing staff you can decide this to have or not to have however good idea to have it and especially for icu setup it's almost uh, mandatory feedback form is a optional completely optional you can have it or you don't have need to have it it's it's up to you same thing about the home care it's completely optional but especially when there are uh post surgical care that needs to be taken post say cataract or cabg or some other uh, like obstetrics after delivery uh it's good to have some do's and don'ts about uh, the uh, care so it's it's good idea to have this made discharge summary needs to be filled in absolutely as per the format given to you please don't vary it much consent for anesthesia needs to be done for all the surgical cases what you can do is because many times in nursing homes the doctors don't come the uh, anesthetists don't come prior a previous day for the surgery so the fitness or the uh, other uh, investigations are summoned by the surgeon so that that is file acceptable however it has to be uh, signed by the anesthetist at a before the beginning of surgery consent for surgery absolutely required signed to be to be signed by the surgeon consent for hiv testing normally for a surgical setup where most of the people do this hiv testing for such scenario i would uh, advise you to put this in your initial medical initial consent admission consent so that you don't need separate consent for this uh consent for surgical procedures whenever you are doing any bedside procedures like fluvial tapping catheterization this needs to be done next forms like uh, pre op checklist who checklist has is a essential part and has to be done the surgical checklist has to be signed by all the three concerned people that is the surgeon the anesthetist and the post op nurse pre anesthesia evaluation again as i said anybody can do it however needs to be signed by the anesthetist anesthesia monitoring has to be essentially signed by the anesthetist operation record has to be essentially done by the surgeon patient and family telecommunication this depends on uh 
for a icu setup it is absolute requirement for non icu it's optional of course i know every doctor communicates with the patient or their relatives every day i were not documented in today's scenario it's better to document all the communication that you make with the patient or their relatives blood transfusion and blood monitoring absolutely required now even if you are reserving a blood for surgery uh, please get the blood transfusion form signed by the patient consent for dama yes required this can be a part of your uh, no this this needs to be uh, signed by the consent patients and their relatives high risk surgery whenever the surgeon feels that this patient may develop some problems it's better to get this form signed up in case if it's going to be a very very recurring feature then this form this particular items of high risk elements can be included in your sur surgery consent and get it that uh, it's better whenever patient is leaving your hospital for investigations and coming back after a while since he is not going to be in the hospital and uh, you should not be responsible held responsible for anything that happens in route or at at the place where the patient is going it's better to take a traveling consent and make a note of uh, exit time and invert time in the patient's record mlc and uh, intimation a must for all mlc patients pmt consent for all treadmill patients diabetic diet instructions recommended for icu and medical setup however it's your call uh, consent for refusal of admission and mlc actually speaking this has no legal standing as long as the suicide is a crime a patient cannot decide or cannot decide about the uh, refusal of admission or the mlc you cannot take the consent however the consent for refusal of admission and mlc are not legal but uh, this when you get it signed it puts a psychological pressure pressure on the patients and their relative mind that uh, we have signed now how can we go back from our words bypap if you are putting a patient on bypap uh, whenever you are restraining a patient maybe a physical or chemical chemical is sedation so whenever you are uh, sedating a patient or whenever you are tying up a patient for a physical for various reasons then uh, this form needs to be signed death summary of course very clear self clear consent for transfer better to get it done uh, medic declaration of medical history many doctors had this issue that patients initially tell something and then afterwards they pura palti maar dete hain they kind of you know change their claim and they say we never told you you have probably had misunderstood it so lot of doctors prefer to take uh, this medical history in writing from the patient so that uh, there is a clear cut uh, uh, declaration by the patient that these are my pre existing diseases this is my from this date and whatever so the medical history is completely Uh, acknowledged by the patient uh, dialysis transfer or referral whenever you are sending referring a patient or transferring this can be a register also instead of a form you can opt to go in for register as well mrd checklist for all the patients uh, record this should be the first page cleaning schedule of course we need for three locations for uh, putting up on the website